and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a haul of a few bits that I've gathered over the past few weeks. So the first thing that I've got is this jumper here from New Look and this is in a size small for me. And this is in such an autumnal colour and as you can see I am loving this colour at the minute and I think in autumn and winter jumpers are the comfiest things because they keep you warm. So this, I think it was only £8.00. It was quite cheap for a jumper, I think. So, if you're around New Look and you see these, I would highly recommend picking one of these up because I love them. The next thing that I've got is Garnier Summer Body. As you can see, this is a moisturising lotion and it actually is a gradual tan at the same time. So, if you put this on overnight, sleep in it, or you can put it on in the day and leave it on all day. It adds a golden effect to your skin and this is so nice. I use this when I fake tan. So I put this one on my face and it smells like apricots and it is so nice. So I'd highly recommend this and you get a lot for the price. I don't know whether mine was on sale but I think this is quite a good deal for what you get. The next thing that I've got is a beauty blender. Now I've had the Real Techniques sponge for a while and I thought I'd get the beauty blender to try this one out. And this is actually really good, this little package it came in. And when it came in the post I was like, that is so small. But when you actually put it in water it like triples in size. And um, compared to the Real Techniques sponge, if you want a demo or a comparison or anything like that let me know. But this is so good. But when I use these type of things, I have to use them a few times and then they start working properly for me. I don't know if that's just me or what, but I've only used this a few times and it's already stained. I don't know whether you can see that, but it's already stained and I have washed it. So if anyone knows a way of how to get stains out of beauty blenders or raw technique sponges, please let me know because I would love to know. The next thing I got was I went into boots. And they had a 3 for 2 on Soap and Glory. Now that can never end well. Uh oh. <laughs> oh well. Um, I've actually been using the smoothie scrub from, um, or is it the breakfast scrub from Soap and Glory. And I actually got through a whole one of these. So I needed a new one. Uh, these actually cost £8. And this is the Sugar Crush one. And it smells so nice. I haven't used it yet but it's a fresh scent and quite citrusy as it would say by the name um, but these actually lasted me I think it lasted me four months the one I had before that might be wrong I might be right I do not know yeah four months um, but I used to fake tan every single week so these are really good I have no fake tan room at the minute I don't know if you can tell but I'm actually using natural light, so I apologise if the lighting goes really bad or dim. And it is starting to get dark, so that is a problem. Um, this actually smells so nice, and it actually, you can feel it working on your skin. Now that is really good in the scrub, because I used to buy ones, and it feels like it never really did anything. This has, like, I don't know what's in it. Smashed brown sugar, that's what it is. And it really helps with your skin, and it makes it so soft. The next thing in the free for two I got was this, the Righteous Butters, how you say it? Uh, this is just the mini version. Um, and this smells so nice. I've already used this. This is how much you get. It's like this big. I don't know whether you can really tell on the camera. Um, if I cannot insert a close up, but I've never done that before. So I don't, if it's not playing now, then you're probably not going to get it because I didn't figure out how you do it. But um, this says, with softening shea butter and aloe vera. So I actually think this smells really nice. So smooth onto damp skin and massage until it all sinks in. Put yourself up after showering or bathing. Now you can, this makes your skin so soft. That scrubbing this together will make your skin insanely soft. And it's so good for fake tanning because then you know you're not going to get any dry patches or flaky bits when you fake tan. So this is amazing. You can buy the big versions of them, but I think they're like £10. I'm, I'm so debating whether to get one or not, but if you've had the big one, let me know how long it lasts you, and then I'll see whether I can get one or not. And this is another mini version, and this is the Clean On Me by Soap and & Glory, and this is the mini little version again, I don't know if I just said that. It says, Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel, and it says it's got a built-in body lotion, and this 
and all them two together makes your skin so soft I can't even explain to you and this smells really nice I don't know how to explain it it's quite a I'd say it smells quite luxurious so it smells really nice and it doesn't say the scent on the back and I'm so bad at explaining scents but this is more of like a moisturising one and more of a cream rather than bubbling up so I really like this so I'd highly recommend Soap and Glory and I love all their body, pro body products the next thing I got is some bits from Simperate and I don't know if anyone knows or if you've watched another one of my videos but I use the St. Moritz Dark Tan and that is so good and I love that and I swear by that and I use the mousse but I had one of these St. Moritz Medium um, Spray Tan ones and um, the lid on mine it looks like this I'll show you there but it broke so I actually sent St. Moritz an email and they sent me a new one they sent me a scrub and they sent me a knit so summer it's you have a best customer service I would highly recommend this and they also have such amazing customer service so if you have a problem just drop them an email and they'll fix it for you straight away so I love this brand and it's also inexpensive as well which is so good for a tan because you can find some tans and they're really expensive the next thing I got was the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm this is the same as After Shave Balm but I don't know if any of you have seen around YouTube but if you use this as a primer it's got an ingredient called glycerin in and it makes your makeup stick to it so um, I bought some to try this and I can honestly say that it keeps your makeup on for ages it smells a bit like men but once you've got your makeup in makeup on even and um, you blended everything in and done everything, set it all of that um, you can't really smell it anymore, the smell goes away so this is how big the thing is, it's actually got 100 millilitres in but you need the tiniest drop and you just rub it until it goes a bit sticky um, and then it will keep your makeup on for ages and I love this and it's, I think it's better than a primer to be fair I don't know whether I've just not found a good primer but I love this as well the next thing I've got and the last thing actually is the Garnier Micellar Water this is a little mini version um, they're selling them in beauty at the minute for a pound. I don't know if that's a permanent thing or whether it's just um, a thing I'm doing to get them because they're new. But I actually got two of these because I love these so much and they actually get all my phone. Uh, they actually get all your makeup off and even waterproof mascara so I'd highly recommend these. If you've enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like, a thumbs up. Um, and if you have any video recommendations leave them down below and I'll see if I can reply to all of you also make sure you subscribe so then you can see all the videos that I post thank you for watching bye